Welcome to Sam Show. Welcome to another episode of Sam Show. I'm Sam Mbogwa. Today we're going to discuss the topic of uh, whether whether sin, whether worry is a sin or not. So I'm going to hear different opinions of different people and then we'll come up with a conclusion. God, like cowards are in the same category with murderers, with like according to the Bible in sins, mm -hmm. he hates cowards. What's that supposed to mean? Mm -hmm. It means don't be a coward. Mm -hmm. Just have courage. So I think, I think it's, it's for me, it's leaning towards a sin. I don't think that worry is a sin mm -hmm. because I, I normally equate worrying with anxiety, and uh, since I know that anxiety is something that comes over somebody where they have really no control. I believe that uh, worry being anxiety is something that we experience without really wanting to experience it, it just comes. I think also that uh, when we term things as a sin, uh, you create even more worry because if somebody is worrying and they think they are sinning, mm -hmm. then, then they will really be in a worried situation. No worry, yeah. And so I think that uh, God gave us the opportunity or the capacity to feel worry because he must have also wanted us to learn to you know, cast our burdens unto him. So for many people who have mastered the art of casting their burdens unto Jesus are people who probably experience much less worry. And if they do, mm -hmm. they're able to manage it. Fundamentally, what worry is for me more than sin mm -hmm. is a situation that you must be able to get under control. And yeah. you must do it first by believing in God, but two, also being able to talk to people about it, being able, if it has gone to level of anxiety, getting treatment for it. For me, I think it's a sin mm -hmm. because it's going against what God is telling us to do. He says not to worry, mm -hmm. and anything going against God in anything He says is a sin. So it should apply for worrying as well. Worry, 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 worry. The root cause of worry is fear, and there are two emotions that, in my opinion, are sinful fear and anger and any of its cousins so worry is a cousin or an offshoot of fear and the reason i think it's a sin is because it stops the work of god in our lives it stops the bible tells us it stops the holy spirit from working it grieves the holy spirit and it angers no it quenches the holy spirit however don't confuse fear with fright fright is a biological response that is not a sin so when I get scared of a dog barking, that is fright. That is not a sin. That is a biological response. In my opinion, I don't think worry is a sin. I think God has instilled worry to us as Christians for a particular reason. That's just my own personal opinion. I think worry helps people to be prudent and to, be, to not do things or to make their children not to do certain things so in my opinion i don't think worry is a sin it's, it's human, human nature, nature to be worried personally from based off what pele said and what jamie said that at first i was leaning towards what natasha said that you know it's in everyone but then if if god tells us not to worry or like and like jamie said what he says and if you go against that's a sin like if he says don't harm other people and do that, that's the same. Mm. So I feel like, to some extent, yeah, it is. No, worry, worry is not a sin. Uh, because the Bible actually, when Jesus was talking in the book of Matthew, uh, he said, do not worry. Do not worry what's going to happen the following day. Do not worry about what you're going to eat. Because he even said the birds of the air are fed. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be worry is a sin. Yes, when he was telling us not to worry, he knew that he would worry. Yeah. But he didn't call it a sin. He just said, do not worry. All right. Yes. Because in Matthew 6, 25 to 34, Jesus commands us not to worry. So if we worry, then we're disobeying his commands, and disobedience is ultimately a sin. God instructs us not to do very many things. 
He says we shouldn't kill or steal or worry. And the list goes on because those are the things that wouldn't please him. So if we do what he's telling us not to do, then we're not pleasing him. In 1 Peter 5 7, it says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. God knew we would worry about many things in life, especially because we were already born sinners. But he says, even if we worry, we should turn to him and give him all our worries. And if we trust and believe in him, then we won't have anything to worry about because we will know he is always in control. I think uh, for me, worry is a sin. For me, I just think uh, it makes sense for it being a sin. And uh, for those against it, everyone has their opinions and everyone has what they think of it. So uh, let me, let me, what is a sin? A sin is what? Disobeying God in short. So uh, let me draw it from uh, the book of Philippians 4 verse 6. It says, we're told not to worry about anything, but in all prayers, ask God in a thankful heart. Uh, what are God's instructions? His instructions are, we do not worry. So if you're worrying, what are we doing? We are disobeying him. And when we are disobeying, what are we doing? We are sinning. So uh, for me, it, it really makes sense that, uh, come on, what is a sin? The reason why I think people may say that uh, it's not a sin is because we tend to do it every time. We, we are always worried about something. And that's why we can't all be perfect human beings. That's why we have to repent every day. I think being a perfect human being is close to impossible. Because not worrying means uh, you don't have human traits in it, as what Tasha said. So some show in Instagram, follow it. DM me if you wanna share your message in some show. Until next time, have a great day. Like and subscribe. <laughs>